now. Happening now, investigators are on the scene of two deadly crashes involving pedestrians. In Jupiter, the eastbound lanes of Indian Town Road at Military Trail are closed. Just after 8 o'clock, a pedestrian was hit by a vehicle. That person did die on the scene. In Okeechobee County, the north and southbound lanes of 441 are closed. That near Southeast 86th Boulevard. Police say a man was hit by a truck and killed near that intersection. This happening just after 7.30 this evening. New at 11, a rash of serious, even deadly hit and run crashes in our area have been grabbing headlines. Tonight, we're trying to answer the question many people are asking what kind of person chooses to flee crash scene, especially when someone is hurt? News Channel 5's Dan Corcoran is live near Okeechobee Boulevard tonight in West Palm Beach with more. Dan. Well, Jay, this is the site of the most recent hit and run, a deadly hit and run. It happened Saturday right at this intersection right off Okeechobee Boulevard. This is the situation we've been talking about. Tonight, we ask an expert. Who would just do this and drive away from a scene? When a driver collides with something, or worse, someone, that moment of impact is also a moment of truth. The mind is really powerful. Clinical and forensic psychologist Dr. Kristen Tolbert says research has split hit and run drivers into two basic categories. One, those who find themselves in utter shock and choose to leave the scene of a crash before they can even rationalize what just happened. The most logical, well-intended person may do something that they did not uh, think that they would ever be capable of doing. Then she says there are drivers who may already be doing something unlawful, under the influence of alcohol or drugs, for instance. In a split second, they choose to try to protect their own future instead of trying to stop and help someone else. There are some people that, that do lack empathy and do have um, an interest in what affects them only. Those drivers lack good moral judgment, says James Miller, who was bicycling in Gulfstream earlier this year when he was hit by an SUV that never stopped. Did you get somebody who's going to be responsible and have the character to do the right thing? Or did you just get hit by somebody who has obvious character flaws and is just going to try to get away with it? The driver that hit James is still out there. And now, in just the last two weeks, from Palm Beach County to the Treasure Coast to Broward County and back, it's been dangerous, even deadly, on our roads. There are no consequences other than their, their own conscience may provide them. And last year, FHP reported nearly 70,000 hit and run crashes across the state of Florida. State law says that a driver that collides with someone or something must stay at the scene and at least see if the person, if a person is hit, needs any help. They must render aid. Reporting live in West Palm Beach tonight, I'm Dan Corcoran, WPTV News Channel 5.